Hi ho, cat guys, I'm Tangar Igraglas and today I'll make analytics video about mods, text online games and in this video I'll say about five top problems in mods. We would travel at Akia mod, Dragon Realms mod and Ember Online. These three mods, I think they are very representative and it's one of the best uh, text er, online RPG games which I played and what I could say, they are awesome. And of course there are much more beautiful games and all of them has problems which I want today to discuss with you. All these games, uh, they got certain... Uh, things which makes players not so happy, especially new players. For guys who play for a long time in these games, in mods, they feel alright and they think that mm, everything as it has to be. But for new players, for people who come from a more RPG like World of Warcraft, mm, not everything so bright. So in this video I'll try to take you to the journey with a new player. How new player looks at mods. First problem, it's what is the best thing in mods? It's that we go through the locations and we read the descriptions. Descriptions, they give us possibility to turn on imagination and we really could mm, have best graphics ever in our head. Mods, it's better than any top graphical game. Why? Because when we read the text, we got the picture, the best picture ever. And it's huge fun to read all text descriptions in mods. It's main thing in these games. The problem is, at certain moment, you would start to go to the locations where monster would attack you. And when monster attack you, you do not have any time to read location description. Let's take a look, logical look. When you come to a room, what you see inside? You see the room. You have the room in your head. You have the room in your head. But then you could see something inside like a monster and you would want to fight with it. In mods in it's vice versa. I mean in mud you come to the room and something already started to attacking you. And it's like you do not have time to read the description and to create picture in your head. You first you see monster and you start to put commands. You start to try to kill it or to protect yourself. And then okay you could read monster description, uh, it's possible to do it afterwards, but actually it's really breaking uh, this beautiful feeling, beautiful experience uh, which you have while you're a new player. It's okay because you visit locations where nobody really attacking you, but as far you go from town, from starter town, you would start to meet places where a monster would attack you immediately and it's really uh, like ruining all the stuff. You can't dive into the location, you can't imagine it because first you need to imagine location and then you could start fighting with a monster and think who is it, how to fight with this monster, or should you run from this monster. But first you need to draw this picture of this location into your head. So it's a big problem and I have certain solutions to solve it. Uh, there could be several ways to, show, to solve this thing. It's like first one, to show location description while you going there. So when I put push button to go to certain location, Show me the description first and I could read it and it's like I'm walking there. You read the description, okay, I read it, I could like uh, push any buttons or something like this and then I appear in this location and I could fight with a monster. It could attack me immediately. So while I'm traveling from one location to another, uh, it should be like monster uh, can't um, attack you. 
Okay, monster who already attacked you in the past, they could like pursue you, but it's like one of variants. One of variants could be uh, mo more variants. Like monsters could attack you not immediately, but after like 10 seconds. But for some uh, mods, it could be unacceptable. It could be like uh, too easy, like um, easy mode. It's not really fun. They could say. So okay. Uh, another thing it's text to speech text to speech so when i come to the location let some uh, robot or even a person because actually right now it's very mm, like common thing in more pg graphical online games like world of warcraft people community of the game they would be so glad trust me it's really truth they would be so glad to voice act text voice act location text and you could really gr create a nice, interesting, um, like, uh, program, like, uh, event, uh, crowds crowdsourcing like this. So people, let your players would voice act your location. And this would be also good for blind people. Uh, but, okay, you could just use computer text-to-speech. It's very common. It's very good technology already. So when I just came to the location, let this location would be voiced let let the description of this location would be voiced and then okay if something attack me i hearing um, location description and it's like okay i'm ready it's everything good second big problem guys second big problem it's maps it's really important thing to give a player feeling of exploration um, Take a look at this uh, map in Akia. It's really a beautiful and cool map and I like it. And in any game, almost any modern mod has, has the map. The problem is that it's already filled. It's already uh, written. It's already there. At all locations. You do not need to visit them. You do not need to explore. And this, this is like deleting very huge fun aspect for a new player to explore the world. It would be so great to be able, when you just start to play, to have only one location at the map. And then when you go somewhere, you open second one. And after you opened a lot of location, okay, let you have possibility to fast travel like a command go to some place to have fast traveling it's yeah it's important thing it's really makes gameplay much easier but when all the map when you see it already and it's really killing you know I'm, i think everyone every person would like to be a cartographer like to explore the world and when you uh, see that the map is blank when you just started and after a certain amount of time you open the map you come to new locations it's really cool feeling but when map already here it's like hmm it's not really mm, so exciting i'll say so it's big problem of game design i do not know why but in all mods which i play they all have cooked maps and i think it's like you could say it's cheating. It's cheating tool and it has to be different. By default, Matt has to have blank map and let's players, every player for his own, let's uh, player, each player open the map. It, it has to be like a part of game progress. It would be really cool. Uh, third problem. Third huge problem which I met in Matt's is grind. I mean, main... Uh, aspect of gameplay it's fighting with a monster and it's totally okay i like it but in mud in typical mud you just at certain moment you have like level 10 and you have to go to certain location you go there and you have to kill like 100 monsters after you would kill like 100 monsters you attain certain like level 15 and you could go to another location and you kill there 100 monsters and from one location to another and it's uh, kind of green it's repetitive repetitive content and it has to be different because mods because of they have text they could have so cool different 
diverse encounters, like random events which happens to you. I mean, when you... Okay, you fight with a goblin, you fight with a rat, but let something random and exciting sometimes ha uh, happens. What make you to solve a riddle? What make you to disarm trap or get onto the trap? So repetitive, repetitive content, green content, it's really bad thing. And in all mods which I played, it's all based, all PvE based at this repetitive grind, and it's not really fun. More random encounters, diverse and multi variety. It's really important. So when you mine an ore, because in Dragon Realms you could mine ore. It's really cool crafting system here, for example. Let something random happen sometimes, something uh, unexpected. When you fight a red, okay, let's also um, this red could become a very red, or it could uh, call for friends and for huge red brain. Something, something strange would happen, and it's a, it's really important thing. And fourth problem, which comes from third, scripts, guys. Right now, for example, uh, Dragon Realms what play in this mod it's it's a script so i have a script which runs which kill monsters automatically and almost in all uh, mods it's uh, like not maybe approved not not maybe um, developers are really they're really glad to have uh, their bots and scripts but they exist almost everywhere and developers they do not really fight with uh, scripts why because of the grind. Grindy gameplay create possibility to, to script. So when you have uh, repetitive content without strange random encounters, it's very predictive. And it's kind of boring to do it manually. Okay, that's why people, they use bots. And it's really bad thing because to tell the truth, guys, I stopped playing mods. I do not play mods right now because of scripts because it's just it's just destroyed my joy it's destroyed my love to gameplay because after you after a certain moment everything what you do in mod it's like you customize your script for a certain location and you push a button your character go to this location, he kill monsters, he, he, he automatically sell loot and then he repeat it till the next time when you have to customize your bot for another location. And it's very repetitive and no random encounters. There has to be weird moments, weird events, which bot can't solve. There has to be riddles, there has to be puzzles, there has to be very unexpected things, then bots wouldn't be effective. There has to be at least capture, okay? It's really easy, just create capture in mods. So players would, be, would have to uh, fill in capture. Every mod has to have capture, guys. It's just the most important and very easy thing to implement. Each mod has to have captures, so there wouldn't be players who play AFK. And there are so much players who have 24-7 bots. And what I could say, I am also, I use these bots, even if it's forbidden, uh, it's like, you see the possibility and you, you do it, because, okay, it's grindy gameplay and you want to get high level, but when you use the bot, you're killing the interest to the game. And I, I have this problem a lot of times in a lot of games so mod developers they have to fight bots it's very important it's like cancer bot and scripts which do everything automatically it's really huge the biggest i'll say the biggest problem right now and um, there has to be a war versus them okay i do not say about macros macros it's like when you put some action at hotkey, even consequence of actions, but fully automated uh, gameplay has to be prohibited. It has to be um, just hunted down. Yeah, it's very important. And uh, fifth 
um, point which I wanted to discuss today it's interface guys mods need new interfaces and one of the best which I saw it's interface in Akia by the way in this mod it's really a lot of it's web interface with a lot of uh, customization and cool stuff but still guys what I could say I like this I like Ember uh, approach to the interface I mean what is the most important thing in mods of course the most important thing it's text descriptions of the locations uh, because uh, they give us like a picture what happening around and our head our brain it's the best graphical engine better than nvidia <laughs> or uh, amd i mean it what makes mods and when we read the books we could go dive in it but still we could give some help to our imagination and in this mod in ember online this mod it's also has all problems which i said before all the problems they had but they have an idea that they got a pictures certain pictures of uh, different location not high resolution but just kind of pictures with which help you to imagine where are you uh, this mod has problem with game descriptions so it's um, it's not really right approach that they have here because text descriptions they has to be priority because they create this beautiful unbelievable um, graphics in your head so the pictures illustrations they just have to help you to imagine it so when you have a picture and you read detailed good written description is just the best thing which you could imagine when you play mat another thing is to have audio audio effects to have uh, some not really even music but ambience ambient sounds sounds of the forest sounds of the city it's all help you to dive into the game so i think interface of course uh, all these buttons all text has to be interactive i mean you should be able to to click at almost any word to interact with it i mean uh giper text links it's like a door to the mod 2.0 i mean it's like new generation of mods should appear which give you much more interaction with the tr uh, with surroundings i mean we have links guys it means that you could click at anything and should you would be you should be able to uh, look at any object and to try to interact with it with the, with the help of links developers mod developers they could help you to interact with like thousands objects in a single room it's quite possible to to create it to implement it uh, in in previous times in old times when all mods worked with the telnet it was all typing a lot of typing and of course it was like not possible even for player it was torture to have a lot of object to interact but with hyperlinks you it's so easy to interact with a lot of options in a lot of objects in location so interface what does it mean by this what, what i mean i mean to enhance uh, game descriptions with a lot of links it's like most important thing and of course all these uh, panels and buttons and, and macros it's nice thing and uh, yeah it's really helpful but links it's essential and another thing as i said it's illustrations bring some some pictures of uh, surroundings pictures of monsters let they would be low resolution they just help us help players to imagine something better of course text should prevail text gives 95 percent it should give 95 percent of information but some help from picture from audio to create this full uh, graphical view in your head it's really could be helpful so guys uh, i hope um, that this video maybe uh, 
you could also add something to it what do you think is the most problems where mods should go which direction and again i want to uh, remind about text to speech option not much mods got internal text to speech engine or even possibility to use text to speech uh, automatically when you enter the location it's really important i mean it should be it's it's really easy i mean there are so much cooked already done text to speech programs and instruments and uh, i think that developers of every mod they should think how to attach these tools so when you just enter the location let it would be automatically read location description only this thing would improve interface and feeling much much more thank you very much for watching guys i'll continue playing mods i think i'll return there and this way i, I i'm trying to look into new games maybe i'll visit some others uh, other mods there are so much great games please suggest something to me and let's discuss all these um, things which i said if my english not so uh, understandable you could read this article at the, my website so i uh, wrote this article mm, i wrote an article about this video so you, you could uh, read it if it's easier uh, than watching <laughs> uh, i'll put the description to it so thank you very much for watching uh, hope to see you subscribed at my channel if you're interested in online games in analytics game development and just um, interesting dis discussions about online games hope to see you see you bye bye